In one of the job interviews, I was asked if I have a blog or a website to show off my work. I said no, I didn't get this job. And I was told, if you are not online, you don't exist. So having a blog or a website is a good idea. And there are a lot of ways to create a blog. So why should we use this tool? Well, because it's an easy, quick and free way to go online in actually five minutes. All you need to create a website or a blog is our, our studio and Netlify account. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. After installing the Steel package in our studio, you go to File, New Project, New Directory and hit the Steel blog. You fill it with the directory name of your choice, which will be the name of the folder where all the documents from your blog will be stored. Choose the directory where this folder is supposed to be stored. In my case, it was a desktop. Give your blog a name. You'll be able to change it later and click Create Project. You can also create a blog by this line of code. So it's up to you. After you have built your blog, a new RStudio window with newly created files and folders will open itself. One of the folders, underscore posts, will contain all your posts. Find the Build button and press Build Website. You'll see the process of building. Click Open the browser and explore your website. Note, we aren't online yet. So go back to your browser, open Netlify website, log in or sign up if you don't have any Netlify account, and you'll see the window, which will ask you, want to deploy a new site without connecting to Git? Drag and drop your site folder here. If you somehow don't see it, find and press Team Overview. Go to the directory of your blog and find the underscore site folder. Drag and drop the underscore site folder from your computer into this window. Wait a moment till the production time produce green colored published and you'll get a funny named website in the left top corner. Click on it. Congrats, you are online! Go back to Netlify though, click site settings and change site's name to a better name. Hit save. Click on the better name netlify.app to make sure the name has changed and the site is still working. Then go back to our studio to populate your site with new blog posts. In order to create a new blog post, run the following line of code. You have the still package, which has a create post function, and you have a name. And you, partly pre-filled, our markdown document will open itself in our studio. Fill it with some text and code as you usually do with Armageddon documents, and hit NEAT. Your website will be updated. However, this new post exists only on your computer, still not online. Thus, go back to Netlify and click Deploys tab, where you'll see another window with the question, need to update your site, drag and drop your site folder here. So, you drag and drop the underscore site folder there and wait till production time produces green published to make sure the new blog post appeared. Click on your post to enjoy your creative work for a moment. Then go back to our studio and repeat the last step several times to produce several blog posts. Here is how my website created by the steel looks like. In the description below you'll find a link to this blog post which will guide you step by step through the whole procedure of creating a website or a blog as you just have seen in this video. So in the next video we'll learn how to continuously deploy our website with GitHub so we don't need to drag and drop the folder into the Netlify window every time we created or changed a blog post. However, this part might be tricky so make sure you install Git on your computer created a GitHub account and connected your RStudio to GitHub.